Lewis usually trains down at Jackson, Wink, and Albuquerque, but uh, with COVID going on, stayed home in, in Georgia. Oh, Levitt goes for a flying kick right out the gates and right into his shot. Was a little bit, little bit shot from a little too much space, but Levitt's fine here. This is where he wants to be. Now he's got that leg isolated. That's good. He needs to pinch his knees together and get his shoulder on the mat to really get the torque on that, on that knee. Levitt had this same type of position early in that first round. But this is this is Levitt's game. He can shoot bad shots. He can shoot fail. He can shoot for a takedown knowing he's gonna fail because he's gonna tangle the legs. He's gonna make it awkward. He's gonna make it hard. And here he is looking to take the back. Falls off the top. Could go for a Kimura right there, but he gets his hips back on top as he laces that ankle. Gets gets a leg in. Now he's in a now he could go for a, a reverse triangle from here from the back mount. He's isolating an arm now. He, this, is, this is the Monkey King's game as he's looking to trap that triangle. This is some beautiful work Very from Jordan slick. Levitt. Unbelievable. Looking to, looking to isolate the arm. Looking to isolate the arm. He's got to get that elbow tucked by his crotch. Get the wrist in his armpit. Three submission wins for Jordan oh, Levitt he's... out of his five. Looking for another one here tonight. He's got the triangle, but it's on, almost boy. like he's going for an Americana. He's not getting the straight arm lock. On, it looks like he's going to bend the Come arm on. and go for an Americana, but he could land some elbows from here. If I was him, I would bail on the elbows, focus on the submission. Lewis finds his way out. But, man, great work from Jordan Levitt there. That was impressive. Very busy. Levitt's corner saying more elbows. Yeah, see, I disagree with that. If I'm Levitt's corner, as he gets the sweep to get on top, and this is what he was talking about in the fighter meeting. This is where he wants to be. Is he's looking for the anaconda choke. He needs to get his head underneath. He gets his head and his body underneath. He can go for a gator roll to get on top, Take just like this. Walk his hips, walk his hips towards, towards Lewis's hips. He's got him locked up there. He needs to walk, he needs to walk towards Lewis's lips, and he gets the tap. That's the tap over and out. Beautiful. Jordan Levitt, Whoa. what a submission, Whoa. and oh, I hope he stretched. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're talking about the, the Monkey King does, huh? Oh my Man. gosh, breaking out the worm now? That was nice. Heck yes. That was nice. Good stuff from Jordan Levitt, man. Yeah. Just chaining the submission attempts one after the other, and ultimately, from the front headlock, he talked about wanting to go for the Peruvian necktie, but he was savvy to not go for it because things get a little slippery, and that's a submission where you can fall off top. Ultimately, he ends it with the anaconda choke. Beautiful work from Jordan Levitt. Here he is, he, he locks up the anaconda, he goes to what we call a gator roll to get his head underneath. Now he's gonna walk his hips towards Lewis's. He, he isolates the arm with his legs and ultimately gets his chest and his head on top of that choke and he squeezes tight. There's nowhere for Lewis to go and ultimately it resulted in him tapping out. Take another look at it. Beautiful gator roll. Beautiful. And he kicked Looking off the fence. The He's got the little sh the Showtime kick. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Anthony Pettis. <laughs> Mini Showtime kick. Man, remember the name Jordan Levitt. Very slick. This is his 10th straight win if you go back to his amateur career. Ooh, there's the worm. Something Jamie Varner used to do after his wins. I remember that. 